Good morning, guys. Today, we're going to rank the habits to take control of your life from most effective to least effective. And I'm going to go about my day as I normally would. So you'll actually see what habits I use on a daily basis and which ones I do not for some very good reasons. Let's get started with habit number one, waking up early. Now it is currently 8.55. I've been up for a little bit, but I generally like waking up between seven and eight o'clock because it follows my natural circadian rhythm and it allows me to get some more hours in during the evening. There is a saying that the early bird gets the worm. That's only true if you believe that there's not enough worms to go around. And thankfully, there is. So what's much more important is using your waking hours effectively because there are plenty of worms to go around. So that's why waking up early belongs to the brokies. You're broke! You're fucking poor! So we're about to do my favorite part of the day and you can probably guess what it is. I've been doing this every single morning for over four years, and that is cold showers. So, let's do this. So it's actually summertime in Australia right now, which means that the water is pretty warm, and of course the outside is actually pretty hot. So the cold shower is actually very refreshing and very pleasant. But that doesn't matter because whether it's summertime or, or winter time, I'm still going to step into the cold. And despite these warm summer days, most mornings it sucks. You know, you begin your morning being uncomfortable and you do that over a long enough period of time and it teaches your brain to be okay with discomfort, to kind of surrender to it and even begin to enjoy it. And that's why cold showers are a real G. I eat KFC because real G's eat KFC. McDonald's is bullshit. A couple years ago, after I had my cold shower and I get changed, I would sit in this chair right here and do about 10 minutes of meditation. The biggest lesson meditation actually taught me was I have very little control over the thoughts that I have and the feelings that I feel, but I can choose to engage with it. I can fight it where I progressively become more and more fixated on the thought or I can accept it, acknowledge it is there, let go, and move on. The clarity and the calmness that comes with after meditating is unparalleled, and that's why meditation is a real G. I found generally the first few hours of waking up is when I am the most focused. Focused, not productive. Fuck being productive. I'm not here trying to get done as much as possible, but what I am trying to do is work out what the most important tasks are and focus heavily on them. So each morning I put together a list of the next actions I need to take for each of the projects that I'm working on. And at the moment, for YouTube at least, the only project I'm working on is this video right here. So today I have to film this video and I have to do the first rough edit. So having some sort of organizational system is very important. But if you find yourself spending more time trying to be productive than actually doing the work, then you may need to reevaluate what you're actually doing. And for that reason, productivity hacks are going into the bottom G tier. So after a couple of hours of work, I generally like to go to the gym or have lunch. But because this isn't a nine to five work day, I'm about to hit the gym session. And I've been working out consistently for about five years. And those three to five days per week have really become an integral part of my routine. And sure, a better body and the overall health benefits are great, but to me, the gym is a metaphor for life. To see any progress, you have to turn up and you have to try hard. And then you go home and you rest just so you can come back and try even harder. Some workouts are phenomenal and others are pathetic, but that's part of the process and you have to learn to enjoy the process. I am the sexiest motherfucker on the planet. When I go to a strip club, the girls pay me. I am the pinnacle of every human endeavor. Gains, bro. Workout complete. So the gym, that's top G level, bro. 
that's on the top G tier, no doubt about it. <clears throat> Honestly, it wasn't the best workout, but like I said before, it's all part of the process, and I love it. So now I need to clear up what the hell happened in the gym bathroom. That is what you call affirmations. And honestly, I'm not very interested in, in affirmations at all. Now you can delude yourself any which way you like. I'm more interested in providing undeniable proof and evidence that I am the man. So let's leave that where it is and move on to the next one, shall we? Because affirmations are for brokies. After every workout, I have a protein shake. But since I'm here in Newcastle over the Christmas period, this will have to do. Cheers, bro. You guys already know how important nutrition is. Literally everything stems from it. Focus, mood, performance, attractiveness. Nutrition plays a huge role in all of these things. I don't think many people see nutrition as a habit, but it absolutely is. Because if you consistently cook your own healthy, nutritious meals, you actually begin to prefer your own meals. And then you'll begin to work harder to prepare them. At least that's what I'm like. And so, nutrition goes into the top GT. What I like most about summertime is the extra hours you have in the day. That means I get to take my dogs for a walk and I obviously don't have my dogs in Adelaide so I'm trying to make the most of it. And look man, dogs are the embodiment of gratitude. You know, they are just so happy to be out here feeling the grass on their feet, being in some fresh air. They live in the present moment and their happiness is infectious and they also bark a lot. I practiced gratitude for a couple years and I did that by asking myself a pretty simple question. What are three things that went well for you today? And when you try this, at first you might experience some resistance and it might be difficult actually finding some things to actually be grateful for. But if you practice this skill regularly enough, you begin to experience gratitude in real time. My mind scans the surroundings looking for the positive things. And I think that's probably the reason why I feel grounded, at peace and calm, despite all the chaos happening elsewhere. And for that reason, gratitude is a real G. Oh no, no, they've gone into the water. Fuck. Damn it. God damn it. I generally need to do more work after dinner and today was no different. But now that most of the work is done, I generally like to close out the day by doing a daily review. It is essentially assessing how the day went, what I did well, and also what I can improve. Today I did well getting most of the filming done. Of course, I have a couple more habits to get through before I go to sleep, but overall it's been pretty, pretty positive. What I could improve though, is being more strict with the timings. So I didn't get to the gym until after when I wanted to, and that kind of delayed the rest of the day, which is why it's pretty late at night now and I haven't gotten everything that I wanted to get done yet. This review helps me keep a positive frame while also ensuring that I am leveling up my skills. And for that reason, the daily review is a real G. So with the day done, the only thing left to do is to go to sleep, right? Wrong. See, so far in the video, we have only really talked about the good habits to take control of your life but we haven't spoken about the bad habits and nearly all of us have our poison and I am no different. And that habit is porn. Porn has been somewhat of a nighttime ritual for me in the past. And while I do have this bad habit under control now, I do have some mixed feelings about nofap. I do plan to make a detailed video about nofap and a porn addiction because I think it's very, very, very important. But in short, I haven't experienced the benefits that many other self-improvement YouTubers live by. So for that reason, I'm calling NoFap a bottom G. But 
what's really important to me is that I'm no longer breaking trust with myself. And that shit is powerful. Now, when you have a bad habit, the best way to get rid of it is actually replace it with another habit, ideally something that isn't damaging. And for me, that replacement habit has been reading. Now, most of the things that I have learned that I actually present in these videos, I have learned by reading books. They are a tremendous source of knowledge and you do get to see how experts formulate their ideas and that does improve your communication skills because you can create better arguments. But reading does come with a trap. You feel like you are making progress in something when you're not actually doing anything. And so it's very easy to fall into the trap of reading book after book after book, but not implementing anything that you've read. And for that reason, reading is also a bottom G. After some reading, I'm normally pretty tired. So I made some optimizations to improve the quality of my sleep. The first is I tried to maintain a cool environment by having a fan and by having sheets that regulate my temperature. I also have pillows that support my head properly. Not these ones, I'm talking about my pillow back in Adelaide. So one thing that I can be better at is limiting my screen use before bed. That way I can get to sleep a little bit quicker. And because sleep is similar to nutrition in terms of it plays a massive role in focus, performance, overall health and mood, it is of course a top G tier habit. So that my friends is a typical day for me using the habits to take control of my life. As you saw, some are highly effective that I do every single day, and I would recommend that to every person. But there are others that could be effective for the right person in the right situation. But for me, they're not very impactful. Now, there is one habit that I purposely left out. And if you can introduce this one, it has the potential to change every aspect of your life for the better. But if you're doing it wrong, it may well just ruin your life. So I made this video right here for you to check out and to follow, and I'll see you there.